Well, there's our classic matchup. The two winningest top fuel drivers in history, Larry Dixon and Tony Schumacher. The big rivalry here, you know, and it's also Alan Johnson against uh, Team Schumacher. And, you know, the, the big advantage, I mean, obviously, Alan Johnson likes to be able to beat uh, that Army car, but the key would be if he does, it'll be an all Alan Army final. Yeah, and, you know, they finished 1-2, he and uh, Dick, with Worsham winning at the four wide. And speaking with Jason McCullough, Larry Dixon's crew chief, he said that last round, they backed the car up a little bit. Uh, not, didn't expect to run in 86. The car just really hooked up. So after looking at his data, Jason said, you know what? I'm not going to touch very much on this car. We're going to pretty much run the same setup as we did in the second round. Tony Schumacher is 36 to 35 career over Larry Dixon. That's a rivalry there. Yeah, you think? <laughs> oh, look at this. They just evened that baby out as Larry Dixon takes the win. 388, 317 miles an hour. Hey, Tony had a huge advantage off of the starting line, almost five hundredths of a second, 030 light. I mean, Tony's usually pretty good, but he might have just been a little amped up, might have got a little itchy foot there, but still did a great job off the starting line. Unfortunately, the car just didn't hook up, spun the tires early, and Larry Dixon right down the racetrack, another great pass, 388 to advance into the final against his teammate. Alan Johnson up against his former employer, Don Schumacher. Well, there's the finals. Well, somebody from Alan Abbey's going to win. Lane choice to Larry Dixon when he faces Del Worsham. Well, there is Mike Neff for John Forrest Racing. When he comes up, he will face Jack Beckman. Jack has already taken down Mike Neff's teammate, John Forrest.